Salam everyone. Today I am going to explain how to solve language problems based on ages because this is also very important topic in the view of competitive exams. So I have taken an example and the example is the present age of a father is three years more than three times the age of his son three years hence father's age will be ten years more than twice the age of the son find the present age of father and the son so the key point to solve a problem on ages is first we assume the present age of the characters given in the language problems so there are two characters in this language problems one is father and other is son so first step must be the father's present age we may assume as x or a y years and son's age present ages y years now we have to apply the condition given in the language problems on these present ages so the first condition given in the problem is the present age of father is three years more than three times the age of his son that means if we add three to three times of son's age we get father's age because father's age is three times uh, three more than three times of son's age so father's age is x and son's age is y so three times of son's age means three y and father's age is three years more than thrice of son's age so we get x is equal to 3y plus 3 let it be equation number one now the second condition three years hence that is after three years so first we put the heading three years three years hence years hence if today father's age is x after three years father's age must be x plus three x plus three father's age will be 10 years more than twice the age of the son so today son's age is y after three years son's age will be y plus 3 and the father's age is 10 years more than twice the age of his son so twice the age of the son after 3 years will be 2 into y plus 3 and father's age is 10 years more than this age so we need to plus n plus 10 so father's age after 3 years is x plus 3 and son's age after 3 years will be y plus 3 and father's age will be twice 10 more than twice the son's age so son's age is y plus 3 it's twice is 2 y plus 3 and father's age is 10 years more so we have to add 10 so simplifying this we have x plus 3 is equal to 2y plus 6 plus 10 x plus 3 is equal to 2y plus 16 transposing 3 to that side we have x is equal to 2y plus 16 minus 3 or x is equal to 2y plus 13 let it be equation number 2 now from equation number 1 putting the value of x in terms of y in equation number 2 here we get from 1 and 2 3y plus 3 is equal to 2y plus 13 what we have done we have substituted the value of x in terms of y from equation number 1 in equation number 2 so we have on the left hand side 3y plus 3 on the right hand side 2y plus 13 now transposing 2y to left hand side and 3 to right hand side we get 3y as it is on transposition 2y becomes negative so 
minus 2y is equal to on the right hand side 13 as it is on transposition 3 becomes negative. So, minus 3 and 3y minus 2y is y is equal to 13 minus 3 10. Now, substituting the value of y in either of these two equations we may find the value of x. So, suppose we are substituting the value of y in equation number 1 from 1 x is equal to 3 y plus 3. So, putting y is equal to 10 over there 3 into 10 plus 3 that is 30 plus 3 that is equal to 33. So, we have found the value of x and y and what is x and y? x is the present father's percentage and y is son's present age. What was required in the language problem? Find the present age of father and the son. So, father's present age is x and we have got x is equal to 33. So, father's present age is 33 years and son's age is 10 years because y is equal to 10 and son's age we have assumed as y years. So, this is the way to solve a language problem easily. Now, let us take another example. The second example is the product of the ages of Ankit and Nikita is 240. If twice the age of Nikita is more than Ankit's age by 4 years, what is Nikita's age? So, as I told, first step is to assume present ages of the characters. There are two characters in language problem that is uh, Nikita and Ankit. So, let Nikita's age is equal to x years and Ankit's age is equal to y years. Now, after assuming the, their present ages, we have to apply the condition given in the language problem. What is the condition? The product of the ages of Ankit and Nikita is 240. The product of ages that is x into y is equal to 240. Let it be equation number 1. And the second condition is if twice the age of Nikita. What is Nikita's age? Nikita's age is x. So, twice of Nikita's age that is 2x. If the twice of age of Nikita is more than Ankit's age by 4 years, that is equal to Ankit's age is y, y plus 4. What does it mean? If twice the age of Nikita, that is 2x, is more than Ankit's age by 4 years, that means if we add 4 to Ankit's age, we get twice of Nikita's age. So, Ankit's age is y and we have added 4 and that is equal to twice of Nikita's age. So, this is our second, second equation. Now, what we have to do from 1. We have to find out the value of y in terms of x and now here we may also find the value of y the value of x in terms of y but how to decide this is better to take the value of that variable in terms of other variable which is not required suppose y is required because y is Ankit's age y is not required sorry here x is required because x is Nikita's age and in our problem Nikita's age is required. So, we need to find out x. So, it is better to take the value of y in terms of x. 
and suppose if we were uh, asked uh, to find the value of Ankit's age, so it would be better to find the value of x in terms of y. So here we are going to find the Nikita's age and that is given, that is assumed in x. So it is better to take y in terms of x from equation number 1. So from equation number 1, y is equal to 240 upon x. Okay. Now putting this value of y in terms of x in equation number 2. Putting in equation 2, we get 2x is equal to 240 upon x plus 4. So, 2x is equal to taking LCM x, we get in numerator 240 plus 4x and now transposing x to left hand side we get 2x square is equal to 240 plus 4x. 2x square is equal to 240 plus 4x. Transposing both the terms to left hand side we get 2x square minus 4x minus 240 is equal to 0. As you see each and every term is divisible by 2. So it is better to divide both, these, both the sides of this equation by 2 we get x square minus 2x minus 120 minus 120 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation in terms of x. So by comparison of this quadratic expression by x square plus ax, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 120. So there are many uh, methods to solve a quadratic equation. One is factorization method and um, uh, one is completing a square method. The third method is by using quadratic formula which we are going to do. So any method you may use to solve this quadratic equation. So by quadratic formula we have to compare this quadratic equation with the standard quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c and find the value of a, b, c. So as you know by quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. This is the quadratic formula. Since the age of a person may not be negative, so here out of these two signs, we have to ignore negative sign because if we take both the signs negative b minus b and here negative, this side under root b square minus 4 is so the age must be in negative form and this is not possible. So x is equal to minus b plus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a and here substituting the value of these b is equal to minus 2 so if we substitute minus 2 over there the minus minus becomes plus plus 2 plus under root b square that is minus 2 square that is 4 and minus 4 into a that is 1 into c that is minus 120 upon 2a that is 2 because a is 1. So simplifying this 2 plus under root 4 minus into minus plus and 12 fours are 48 0 upon 2 that is equal to 2 plus under root 4 8 4 upon 
2. Now 2 plus 484. Now 484 root 484 we have to found we have to find so make the pairs of 2 to the 4 minus cancel 84 take the double of this 4 blank sign here 2 and here 2 so 2 to the 4 2 for the 8 yes 22 so we get 22 upon 2 so we get 2 plus 22 that is 24 upon 2 that is equal to 24 by 2 is 12 so x is equal to 12 and what is x x is Nikita's age so Nikita's age is 12 years so this is how to solve language problems based on ages